here in Southwest Virginia, we wanted to know what people had to say about the governor's news conference this afternoon. News Channel 11 Chantel Batista spoke to people in Bristol, Virginia. Here's what some of them had to say. Kind of shocked. Uh, I mean, I just recently found out about it and just kind of seeing it. It's like, uh, it, it, I guess it was a mixture of disappointment and shock. Just kind of being like, oh, dang, you hate to see that come out about someone, especially if it's not kind of who they've been portraying themselves as. I don't think it looks good that he had that type of behavior, even if it was a few years ago. I think it probably was him, but seems how the big backlash you know, probably seems like a smarter thing to say it wasn't him because you can't really tell the identity of who it really was. Maybe back then it was, I don't know, okay, and that just it, maybe if it was like at a Halloween party, but not today, not today. And of course it's gonna get you in trouble these days. And Jordan, since that news conference, the calls have continued from other politicians for Northam to resign this evening. Virginia Attorney General Mark Hearing actually posted and said in part, quote, it is no longer possible for Governor Northam to lead out the Commonwealth and it's time for him to step down. Also tonight, a joint statement from three Virginia politicians posted today, including U.S. Senator Warner and Tim Kaine, who said in part, quote, we called Governor Northam to tell him that we no longer believe he can effectively serve as governor of Virginia and that he must resign. But again, Northam saying several times during his news conference in Richmond today that he would not be resigning from office. In the studio, Chantel Batista, News Channel 11 in your corner.